Quantum Computer China vs. the United States The computer is the most powerful tool in daily life. However, maybe the current computer is not powerful enough. For example, if we let the most powerful supercomputer solve the integer factorization problem of large numbers, it will cost millions of years, which can be considered as a task that is not possible. This is the reason why our current crypto system based on the RSA algorithm is not easy to crack, and virtual currency for example bitcoins can exist. However, people's pursuit of computing power is endless. In the fields of pharmaceutical research and development, artificial intelligence simulated reality, and many else, people seem to be more and more eager to have the computing power far beyond the conventional computers. Now, we are possibly standing at a breaking point, which is the birth of the quantum computer, different from 80 years ago when the computer was born. This time there is a new face joining the game, China. The race. In September 2019, a team from Google first achieved the milestone using 53 superconducting qubits to create the quantum processor Sycamore, which completed a task in 200 seconds that would take a supercomputer 10,000 years to finish. Thus, Google claimed Sycamore to be the first quantum computer that has achieved quantum supremacy. One year later, in 2020, a team from China that upped the Sycamore by using 76 photonic qubits, build a photon's quantum processor Jiu Zhang and have the potential for faster operation than the Google Sycamore. Jiu Zhang since became the second only one that has achieved the so-called quantum supremacy. One year later, another Chinese team, but led by the same researcher Jan Wei Pan, announced they have developed the most powerful quantum computer Zhu Chongqi using 62 superconducting qubits, which surpassed the Google Sycamore processor. On October 26, 2021, when Jan Wei Pan's team released the Zhu Chongji superconducting quantum computer, they also upgraded the Jiu Zhang quantum computer to the Jiu Zhang 2 version, with the number of photons increased from 76 to 113, and the advantage over classical computers increased from the 14th power of 10 to the 24th power of 10. It has increased by 10 magnitudes. One month later, in 2021, November, IBM has taken a major leap forward with the release of a 127 qubit superconducting processor equal. Breaks the 100 qubit processor barrier for superconducting quantum computer. What a crowded race. As normal people, how do we understand the situation? Today we will compare them side by side and try to figure out the answer of the question. US and China, who is leading in the race in quantum computer? Any difference? The most obvious difference is they are leading in different technology and using different qubits. Google Sycamore is using superconducting qubits and China is leading in photon qubits. Because of this basic difference, the two types of quantum computers are completely different in form. The superconducting Sycamore contains a lot of metal wires and a container that provides absolute zero. China's Jiu Zhang looks like a bunch of optical instruments, and it doesn't need absolute zero, just room temperature is enough. They also choose to deal with different tasks. Sycamore deals with random circuit sampling, while Jiu Zhang deals with Gaussian Boson sampling. It sounds complicated. Actually they are solving the same mathematical calculation of integer factorization. And for an easy understanding, what Sycamore performed is a task of a random number generation, and what Jiu Zhang performed is a Galton nail board with the photon. Both tasks are tailored to prove the quantum advantage. At the current stage, it is still too early to talk about the mass application. The key point is still whether we can prove the quantum computer has a supreme advantage over the binary computer. No matter which technology is used, the core of quantum computing power is still more qubits of the processor and lower intrinsic error rates. Which one is more powerful? With the existing technology, it is very challenging to add a single effective qubit. While any improvement of the qubit means a significant jump in computing power. If one bit of a binary computer can be compared to a switch, which has only two states, on and off, then the qubit of a quantum computer can be compared to a knob, which is a superposition state between on and off, and has countless possibilities. Therefore, if we need to simply compare the computing power of two quantum computers, we can compare the number of the qubits, just by simple comparison of the qubits. Currently the situation is IBM equal is leading with 127 qubits, followed by China's photon quantum computer Jiu Zhang with 113 qubits. Then it is the Chinese superconducting quantum computer Zhu Changzhai with 62, and then is the Google Sycamore with 53. However, although it has more qubits, the task Eagle and Zhu Changzhai did is relatively simple, and the requirements for manipulation accuracy are still lower than those of Sycamore. Therefore, they have not demonstrated quantum advantage in practical tasks. Quantum Supremacy The so-called quantum supremacy, or quantum advantage refers to the superiority of quantum computers over binary computers. In a specific computing problem, a quantum computer has an overwhelming advantage over the binary computer in speed. It should pay attention here that quantum computers cannot surpass conventional computers in everything. 
and can only have advantages on specific problems. Another key point is that this advantage must be really huge. A gap that only dozens or hundreds of times difference cannot be counted as quantum advantage, and it has been believed that to realize this advantage, the most basic requirement is to reach 50 effective qubits in a universal quantum gate computer. At this stage, there are only two candidates that have declared the so-called quantum advantage, that is, the Sycamore from Google and Jiu Zhang from China. On October 23, 2019, Google announced that its quantum computer, Sycamore, had realized the quantum advantage. It took 200 seconds for Sycamore to sample and obtain 1 million data. The fastest supercomputer at that time, Summit, needed 10,000 years to obtain the same data. The so-called quantum advantage has since been achieved for the first time in history. However, only two years later, in November 2021, the classical computer achieved a breakthrough. The Chinese Academy of Sciences, the Institute of Physics, and the team of researcher Zhang Pan improved the algorithm of binary computer for the random circuit sampling. It completed the same task of Sycamore and spent only 15 hours. Moreover, this result was not achieved from a supercomputer, but only from a computer cluster consisting of 512 GPUs. In other words, if the algorithm was migrated to a supercomputer, the random circuit sampling of 1 million data will likely be completed within 200 seconds. This also means that the quantum superiority of the quantum computer over the classical computer realized by Google in 2019 no longer exists. China's Zhu Zhang has since become the only physical system in the world that still maintains an effective quantum advantage. It is worth mentioning that Pan Jianwei, a major figure in the field of quantum computers in China, studied for his doctorate in Austria from 1996 to 2001, and his mentor Anton Zeilinger was one of the three winners of the 2022 Nobel Prize in Physics for Experiments with Entangled Photons, establishing the violation of Bell inequalities and pioneering quantum information science. Which one is more useful? The development of quantum computers is restricted by two factors. First is the number of effective qubits and the other is the fidelity rate. The ion trap technology with the highest stability coefficient can only control about 70 qubits, while a mature quantum computer needs at least 1000 effective qubits. Second is the fidelity of quantum states. Low fidelity refers to the probability that a qubit will not make errors in its work. The fidelity of superconducting quantum can be 99.4%. This means that as long as 1155 calculations are performed, half of the results are wrong. Even if the fidelity of qubits reaches 99.99%, it still needs 1 million qubits to ensure that there are about 1,000 effective qubits that can be used for practical calculation. Currently, even the most advanced quantum computer is still far away from this standard. In terms of fidelity, the best is not the superconducting nor the optical quantum computer, but the ion trap technology leading by IonQ and Honeywell, both are headquartered in the US. Whether the quantum computer with wide application value in the future will be superconducting, photon, ion trap or any other technology is still unknown. However, based on the existing situation, Google's Sycamore is already looking for possible practical value. From 2020 to 2021, Google has made many attempts with Sycamore, such as simulating chemical experiments and realizing time crystals. It is worth noting that Sycamore only uses 12 qubits for chemical simulation and 20 qubits for the time crystal experiment. In other words, the significance of these experiments does not mean achieving more powerful and stable performance. It is to prove that the current very elementary quantum computer already has certain practical value. Now to get a simple answer of the question. Who is leading the quantum computing race? China and the US are neck and neck. In terms of the verification of quantum advantage, China may take a slight lead. In contrast, the United States takes the lead in seeking the practical application value of quantum computers. And one noticeable difference is that quantum technology development in the US is commercially driven, but in China, it is government driven. However, in this field, everything seems to have just begun, and everything seems possible. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.